Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your first half of your March from the 1st to 15th. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love and the person that you are connecting with. And then we will take a look at your person to see what their true feelings and intentions are towards you. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective um, Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, uh, I am doing a giveaway uh, to check out the details on how to enter the giveaway for a free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. Um, I did post uh, the details in the community tab on my YouTube page. I will announce a winner on March 8th, all right? So tell me about Libra. Libra. What's going on with Libra in love in the person that they are connecting with? Tell me about Libra here. What's going on with Libra and love and the person that they are connecting with for the first half of their November, November, for the first half of their March from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Libra. The High Priestess here and the Two of Cups. Um, there's a deep inner knowing that the person that you're dealing with is your soulmate here or that there is a deep inner knowing that your soulmate is coming into your life at this time. The High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Two of Cups here, with the Justice card, Libra Energy, with the Ten of Wands here. And then we also have the Star card here and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so we have the Justice card, Libra Energy. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands. The Star card, Aquarius Energy. And the Seven of Swords here. Very interesting. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like your soulmate is coming in here. The thing is, I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of karma that comes along with this connection here. Okay, I do feel like the karma that you are about to experience with this individual is something that you have to work on transmuting together here. Um, you know, I do feel like this could be a very healing connection, a very spiritual connection here. Um, but you know, that's if you guys recognize that. Uh, and see the opportunity to heal together here. We have a strength card, uh, Libra, uh, no, a, a, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the High Priestess here. Um, tell me the Two of Cups here and the Five of Swords. Interesting. Could be an indication that, you know, someone here is just really protective of this relationship or that this person could be putting the relationship first or something like that. Okay. Uh, we have the Justice card and the World. The uh, Ten of Wands here and the Ten of Cups, okay. I do see that there is a situation here that's going pretty far here in a way where I feel like you guys are definitely taking things to the next level here. I mean, there could be commitment in marriage here, you know, but I feel like, you know, there is definitely something going on here with the karma being a bit unbalanced here, okay? Yeah, I do feel like this could be a very, very, very transformative relationship between you and your person here, okay? I do feel like there are karmic debts from the past life that needs to be cleared out here, you know? And I feel like you guys could work together as a team in doing that. Uh, it's very possible here with the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Uh, some of you guys are definitely receiving a lot of messages from the universe at this time regarding this, like downloads here, all right? Downloads from the universe. What else do we have here for Libra? The person that Libra is dealing with here. What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Libra? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Libra for um, the... Uh, First half of their March from the 1st to 15th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So with the Nine of Pentacles here and the King of Swords. Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Could be dealing with another air sign here. Ten of Swords here and the Lovers. Five of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles here. You know, I do feel like there's quite heavy energy coming up for you guys. I do feel like it has something to do with a past life situation here. 
past life karma that needs to be cleared out here. Yeah, I, I feel like you guys are meeting each other for a reason here, okay? You guys are picking up where you guys left off from a past life here. You know, I do feel like this past life had something to do with like a war or a battle here where I feel like somebody here got together with somebody here that was not supposed to get together with somebody where I feel like one person was a commoner, another person was a, like a soldier or something like that. All right, so I'm going to the Nine of Pentacles here. Page of Cups, not the Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the King of Swords here. And this, yeah, this is a past life soulmate connection here. Now, if you guys don't be believe in past lives here, it could be a situation that someone here is coming back around to heal a situation here with you, okay? Uh, to clear out all the elephants in the room or to address the elephant in the rooms here, okay? In the Address the elephants in the room. We have the Ten of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. The Lovers and the Page of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I mean, if this is an ex here, this person could have juggled you uh, with other people, you know, made you jealous, slept together with other people here. You know, maybe this person lied about things here. Uh, maybe you uncovered something here uh, from a birdie regarding what this person was doing behind your back here. Okay, it seems like there's a third party in this connection here where I feel like this person could be reaching out to you to let you know to stay away from your person and to get away from them here. So perhaps, you know, with the high priestess, maybe you just have a deep inner knowing that all this is going on. And maybe this also could have happened in the past life here too. All right. We have the Queen of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, it could be a situation that you're not wasting any more time on this person here. I feel like you're this uh, Queen of Cups here with the Six of Cups here and the Tower here. Yeah, you're realizing that this can't come back together again. Actually, we're taking a look and see what is gonna, ha what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on here. Yeah, you're just not wasting any more time on this person. You know, you are just uh, realizing that this can't be rebuilt again. You're letting this person go. You're letting this situation go. You are doing what's best for you at this time here. You're realizing that this person lacks loyalty here towards you, okay? With the Ace of Swords here and the Nine of Wands. So what we have here is I feel like you are realizing or having a breakthrough that, you know, the longer that you stay in this situation, the more that you're going to get hurt here. So with the full card, it's better to leave this behind, okay? Move towards a new beginning for yourself. You know, whoever this is, I do feel like this masculine is fearing that this can't come back. This can't come back together again, you know, because, you know, I do feel like this person is fearing that you are moving on from them. You know, I feel like this person is definitely going to come in with an apology uh, and do everything that they can to work things out here with you. With the Knight of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Page of Pentacles here, and the Eight of Pentacles. You know, but with the... With the hangman here, the hierophant here, and the ace of swords, you're definitely going through some sort of enlightenment here or that you're finding clarity through this whole situation here that it's not going to get any better or that it's not going to change. I feel like this person tends to be, you know, in the ego here, you know, especially when you address issues of this person hurting you here. I feel like this person doesn't really care. Um, it seems like this person definitely lives in the place of denial here or that this person doesn't see what they're doing here is wrong. Um, I do feel like this person has a tendency to get bored very easily or that this person likes a lot of attention from other people here, okay? So, you know, I do feel like, yeah, I do feel like there's a major karmic cycle that's ending here. I see, it seems like you're going through some sort of major spiritual ascension here too while this whole situation is going on here. So I see, see you outgrowing this connection. All right. So Libra, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.